We're here in the heart of downtown Lansing in front of NBC at this great piano uh, for Keys in the City. Uh, this was done by a good friend, Elisa Schmidt. But we're here talking with Timothy Muffet, maestro Timothy Muffet of the Lansing Symphony Orchestra. Hello, maestro. Hey, hello. You can call me Tim. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it says in the bio. Yeah, so yeah, I, we got that. We got that all taken care of, and now we can just uh, uh, we can just move forward. Okay, understood. Very. I, that's why I like you. You have a just don't take yourself too seriously type of approach when you're talking about music. And what is one of the things that you look for when you're putting your season together to invite all types of people? Sure. Well, we look for a program that. Um, that any potential audience member is going to say, I want to go hear that. And um, I'm aware that with every given concert, we've got people who are there for the first time. We have people who have been coming for 40 years. We have people who uh, have been on this planet for four decades, and we have people who have been on this planet for maybe 20 or 30 years. And so uh, we want to maintain the integrity of what we do, and um, but also make package things in such a way that the first time audience member is going to love it, and then the seasoned concert goer is going to say that was great too. And so that's an interesting dichotomy because you have uh, opposite ends of the spectrum. So for the people that aren't necessarily familiar with Elger's cello concerto, like what are the things that you do to help invite these people in? Sure. Well, the, in the Elgar, uh, which is, is one of the kind of the masterpieces of, uh, of the 20th century in England, uh, we pair it with the Rachmaninoff Second Symphony. Rachmaninoff and Elgar lived at a roughly the same time. Uh, Rachmaninoff was a Russian, Elgar was an Englishman. So we have, to, we have an era that we're kind of exploring there, the late 19th, early 20th century, but we're exploring it from two different angles, from the, from the viewpoint of England and the viewpoint of Russia. But for the average concert goer, this Rachmaninoff symphony is gonna be something that you hear at one time and you'll just never forget it and it'll be your favorite piece of music you've ever heard. And then the second thing we do with the Elgar is we bring in a very young, energetic uh, uh, cellist as the soloist who's, who's great at communicating with people who haven't been to concerts before. And how does that communication happen when that person is on stage to the audience? Well, it's largely, a, by the time he's on stage, it's going to be just all, uh, j just his physical presence. But it's what happens before stage, and it's his mastery of social media and his ability to communicate to people, uh, kind of as we are here today, that makes him a special attraction. So it's building up the anticipation, and you're going to want to see this person. Fantastic. Um, so then you have something that's, I even know this name, Gershwin. So this is part of the series as well. Talk about that. Right. Well, this is kind of tying into the heart of Lansing. We have Ralph Vodepec, who is a legend here in, the, in Michigan and a legend nationwide and worldwide. And he's going to play an all Gershwin program. And I promise you that all of your viewers know quite a bit of that music. <laughs> Whether they think they know it or not, they know it. If they've seen a Bugs Bunny cartoon, right, or or a uh, you, uh, one of the airlines used uh, used this music for us for theme music, I can't remember which one. So popular pieces. So, so when we talk about classical music, you might not know the art, uh, the artist, or the composer. You might not know it by name, but you know it by ear. Absolutely. So much of this music, it's so great. First of all that it's been, it's out in the air and people are using it for all kinds of things. But here you'll get a chance to hear it for its intended purpose. Intended person, live and in person. Um, and then you can kind of, I mean, we go into uh, Broadway shows, you have a Michael Jackson uh, tribute show, Jeans and Classic, that's an interesting combination that you have there. Well, the Jeans and Classics is the name of the, the uh, production company that's putting on the Michael Jackson show. And you might think Michael Jackson and the Symphony Orchestra, uh, well, Michael won't be there, unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, but uh, they have an incredibly skilled group of people who, who do the music so well, and it lends itself to symphonic treatment perfectly. Those were big orchestras that were backing up uh, Michael, and it, it works great live, and this is a terrific show. So what other elements, like what is that one thing that you can say when you're, somebody's looking at the season as a whole, what would you tell that person that's like, the first time person is like, look at this, or what would you ask yourself to say, this is why I want to go to the show? Does that make sense, like yes. when you're looking at the season? Well, I think the come to the first concert. Okay. The first concert would be a great introduction for anybody. Actually, the first two 
Well, really all of them. But the uh, <laughs> get, get a season pass. Uh, become a donor. Uh, become a sponsor. No. <laughs> and, and just dive in head first. No, I mean, I, I think take a look at the season and see what jumps out at you uh, um, if you've not been before. But certainly um, just pick a program and come check it out. And uh, I just our, our customer satisfaction level is very high. And your, your energy is great as well. I've seen you uh, in front of being a maestro. Um, and maybe we can talk about it another time. But we also have a fi family fun card that I don't want to uh, forget to mention. So for a $20 fee, you end up getting discounted tickets for the rest of the season. Right. We're just trying to find as many avenues as possible for people to take advantage of the broad range of what we have. We have family concerts, we have pops concerts, we have classical concerts, and uh, we want to give people a chance to sample a little bit of everything and make a level of commitment that they're comfortable with. And you also have air opportunities to have dinner with yourself and the other performers. That's part of the uh, series. It's one of the concerts. Wasn't I, I read it. Yeah. Behind the scenes event. <laughs> <laughs> Caught you off guard. Okay. <laughs> Who am I having dinner with? <laughs> Me. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so there's lots of different opportunities to get involved and lots of different ways to be able to become a part of this. And even if you're a novice at this music, uh, it's fun. And I know I've gone and had a great time, even when I'm like, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I know I had fun. Well, I'll tell you, this behind-the-scenes event is super cool because you get to sit on stage during a rehearsal. And oh, so you have the yes. orchestra around you, and you are in the midst of this unbelievable energy. And uh, the dinner part, we talk about what, what to expect, and then you get to come watch a little rehearsal. It's a great event. Great event. All right, cool. So hopefully we'll be able to talk with you as the season goes on and talk about specifically uh, what the shows are going to be. But please, uh, we have the season. It's been announced. It's available. You find it online, LansingSymphony.org. Is that it? LansingSymphony.org. I ask every time. I don't know why. But tell them Lansing made sent you and have fun. It's a great time. Timothy Muffet. He's a cool cat. As are you. Thank you, sir. Thanks.